Alright, it's upgrade time again. Uh, I've got a set of front stabilizer jacks, the scissor style ones, and then um, our jack failed catastrophically at the campground as we were loading up the other day. So uh, I've got an electric replacement. We went with the Hallmaster from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a 3,500 pound jack. I think you can get bigger ones, but um, this is plenty for for our little camper. And uh, like I said, hopefully this won't take very long. So here we go. So this one came with these uh, star washers. Um, they just add a little bit extra grip. Actually the head of the bolt's got some grip to the bottom so I don't think I'm gonna use them. Uh, it does say too, but like I said, if it was a smooth, smooth bottomed uh, head on this bolt, I probably would. Um, but since these are knurled already, I'm not going to. It did come with a fuse, a fuse connection to the uh, battery. So we'll definitely make sure we put that in. And it also came with a handle in case the jack fails for whatever, or the battery's dead or whatever. But there's a cover up here and it just sticks in there and you crank it. I don't know how well it's gonna work with this. It may be a, you know, half turns or whatever, but um, definitely gonna put the fuse in. And I'm going to move you around here so we can get to the wiring. So I took one of the legs off of this so you guys could see what's going on. But, I mean, <laughs> look how solid that is, even with the generator on there. So, hit me up. I've had several um, who have asked about it and then just said they'd kind of get back with me. I think the price kind of scared them off. But, um, they're 220 something dollars, I think, at Camping World. And. Uh, the quality is probably not nearly as good as this. Like I said, I took one of the legs off and it's still rock solid. It didn't even budge when I took it off. So, Alright, so connecting the electrics can be pretty simple. Uh, I really just need to put an end on this. And I'm just going to get around like what what's over here on the ground one. is just a big um, washered connection I, I don't really know the actual term for it but uh, I can put it on here just like it is right now and run the jack up and, up and down uh, it's got a little light on it let's see if I can't reach it uh, there's a LED on both sides so uh, that's kind of nice for the nighttime stuff uh, so, like I said, I'm just going to have to put a, a, either a spade in or a round end on it. I'm not sure what I have, but, and then just connect it to the positive. Again, I'm going to put a, the fused connection in it in case anything happens. So, uh, that'll probably just be two butt, butt connectors on there. All of which I already have. Uh, if you don't have it, definitely something you need to grab at Harbor Freight while you're there. Uh, I think that's where my, my stuff actually came from. It seemed to be just as good a quality as everything else, uh, even from AutoZone or O'Reilly's or wherever you're getting them from. Uh, you will notice that this is a loop, so you just got to cut it, put an end, uh, clamp end on, clamp an end on each one of these, and then it just comes with a little barrel fuse. Uh, pretty standard stuff uh, You can change this out for 
uh, uh, just a standard like automotive fuses with the two ends on it if you don't like this one uh, I'll probably uh, just stick with this for now until something actually happens with it but it is a spring loaded fuse so it will shoot out of there once you open that up but yeah just got to cut it in half put it in on each one of them uh, butt connectors into there and then the, I'm gonna try to hide the fuse in the box that way it's not out in the elements I know that's a sealed unit uh, but just a little extra protection okay so I got my ends scrimped on uh, fuses in line there that ends crimped on I got my wire in nicely in the frame I'll probably throw some zip ties around it uh, but just gotta take this one nut off the battery and connect it pretty simple um, like I said I'm gonna tuck this in the box so the fuse itself isn't out in the elements but it should be a sealed unit On the right side socket here. So pretty simple uh, little upgrade. I would say it's definitely worth it um, just for the headache factor of not having to deal with a broke down jack. As you can see my light is on off on and then if you push it to it it comes up pull it away it goes down uh, it does have a uh, five hole drop foot with it uh, or sorry four hole uh, it's not a huge drop but it sure beats making that thing go for 10 minutes so uh, that's it for that one uh, like I said I got these front stabilizers too so we're gonna jump right into that should be a pretty easy upgrade too um, like I said these are from uh, Harbor Freight as well they have the whole master brand that they carry uh, they're 5,000 pound jacks so uh, should be a pretty good one uh, a lot of people have done it in our little camper group so I'm gonna put the leg back on my generator rack. That way I don't forget about it. And we're just gonna keep going with today and get all these upgrades knocked out pretty quick. If you get the hall masters make sure you get some sort of uh, self-threading hardware uh, I kind of impressed already because I can use two bolt holes on each side because um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it on the straight part of the frame as long as they don't stick out too far So I'm shooting for uh, 
this straight section of frame. Uh, like I said, hopefully, if not, it might be okay to come out at an angle like that. I don't know. I just don't want them sticking out past the, the frame and hit your leg on them or something. That's pretty good, actually. And then I have to find some sort of hardware to go in it. Um, I think I have some self-tapping bolts um, that are out there uh, not, and not self-tapping screws. By any means, there's an actual self-tapping bolt. They're kind of triangle tipped. And let's see if I can't run out to the shop and find one and show you guys what they look like. So I'm digging through here and here's a self-tapping bolt right here. I'm going to have to get a starter hole for it. But that's what I'm looking for. And there was plenty. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I feel like you have a couple options here. Um, since this is a jack, you can put a stack of your leveling blocks underneath. You can put a stack of leveling blocks underneath and jack this to it. Um, I had this 4x4 four four laying in the yard. Uh, I figured I'd use it. It'd be a lot less uh, stuff in the way. And uh, another option would be you just get it up on something. And now that you have an electric jack, uh, you could just drop the trailer down on it uh, ever so slightly. I like this option best because I can uh, crank this by hand. And I'll be honest, I'm impressed with the speed already, but uh, you kind of just get it centered in the frame. At least one hole for now. I'm going to start with the back hole, and then I, I like how it's close to the front. Uh, it might be a little too close, though, just because I got that light right there. So um, I'll just scoot it back a little. That's pretty good. And then when I go to the other side, I'll just take the measurement off the front of the frame and uh, put it in the exact same spot. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything over there that's going to be in the way. So, um, but this is definitely a uh, safety glasses scenario. Uh, anytime you're drilling overhead, uh, you definitely want to have safety glasses on. So I found I've got a uh, impact ready a chuckable uh, drill bit so I'm just gonna pre-drill this back hole and see how uh, the bolt actually goes and I'm just gonna make a little mark and then get the, the jack down out of the way for a second that way I can get this first hole right where I want it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure 5 16th is the size that I need. But I, I, like I said, I got another truckable one, so. get it sitting up there yeah see it'll hold itself which is good and I'm just gonna run this once and then put the jack up there and that is what you want so I'm gonna set the jack back up here very impressed how well this works um, I was really thinking that these jacks were going to be a bit of a struggle but they run really smooth and they go really quickly
Okay, so now I got one. I just need to come around to the other side and center it up. Uh, and keep drilling holes. I'm probably gonna drill them all now. guys thanks for following us along on this one i uh, hope this helped you out uh, getting your jacks installed whether it's you're putting an electric tongue jack on or getting them front stabilizers put on uh, you're definitely going to need front stabilizers for this little camper it shakes quite a bit uh, you can do the pyramid style ones we ran them all last season and part of this season but i figured while i'm putting this front jack on uh, i'd just go ahead and put the stabilizer jacks on too uh, just remember you're going to need hardware and a few uh, terminal ends for your wiring if you're doing both of these but thanks again for following us along um, give us a big thumbs up if you like this video and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button that way you can get all our uh, up-to-date videos that we're putting out i got a few more to put out before we go camping again thanks again and we'll see you on the next one